I spent uh, 14 years on the streets. It's a vicious situation to find yourself in. A year ago, last August, we were going through a lot of uh, struggles living in our car. And it was still really, really hot, and we were homeless. The rent, they kept going up on the rent, and so that, that's what led me here. Thinking that I was going to sleep outside, me and my three grandkids out. I think there's a belief that people become homeless or people need food and shelter because of something they've chosen to do wrong. The COVID pandemic shined a really bright light on the number of struggling people here in our community. And though because of the pandemic, they found their way to us, what we learned is they really needed us before the pandemic also. They were already struggling. These are working people here in Cleveland County who are doing everything right, but just can't make enough money to both pay their rent and buy food. I'm excited because Food and Shelter, they've been a community partner in Norman and Cleveland County, and they have great successes. The work we do at Food and Shelter is pretty simple. We feed people who are hungry and we help people who have lost their homes find their way back home. We serve thousands of people a month. Our food pantry and our dining room are open to anybody who needs us. They come through here accessing food, support services, case management. We really give the most basic of human needs to help people get through the day and start to make some of the big steps for tomorrow. I know where I can go get a meal anytime, breakfast or lunch, seven days a week. If I get a prescription from a doctor and get clothing here, hygiene stuff. And then they leave uh, more stable, ready to take care of themselves, con contributing members of our community. We started coming here and they were just so sweet and so kind and really started leading us in the right direction. I was given a job as kitchen manager because I've managed before. And one of the volunteers here led my husband to his job and we just found housing. Majority of the people that come to us are moms and dads and kids and seniors and veterans who have limited income. They're struggling to pay those bills and they, they turn to us for help to make their dollars stretch through our food pantry or through our emergency services programs. We often see people facing eviction. They're worried about how they're gonna pay their rent. And so one of our feature housing programs here at Food and Shelter is called McCown Village. It's a series of 32 cottages to help men and women and children who are struggling with homelessness have a safe place to sleep at night and rebuild themselves up so they can leave here and go out into the community and live on their own. They gave me a home to stay. You allow to stay over here like a, a year a year or a year and a half to find housing, so it's a blessing. We keep people from dying. People who are out on the streets in the middle of the wintertime can come there and sleep in a warm, dry bed. Last year, Food and Shelter served over 210,000 meals, distributed more than 78,000 pounds of food through their food pantry, and provided supportive housing to more than 1,000 people in Cleveland County. Through their case management and other outreach services, they were ultimately able to prevent homelessness for nearly 300 households, providing support stability to hundreds. Well, from a mental health perspective, uh, having a secure place to stay, knowing that you're going to be fed, knowing that your children are going to be fed, certainly improves one's mental health, gives you a better outlook. This uh, organization was near and dear to Judy McCown's heart. She would be very proud of what we've accomplished. When somebody tells you they believe in your work enough to give you a million dollars, it's I mean, it's a feeling I can't even really fully express. We really are making big investments in people when they come here and to know that the county commissioners and the, the people of Cleveland County saw the men and women here and, and believe in them enough to give them that opportunity is just really something special. There's a beacon of hope in the community for a lot of people that don't have no place else to go. This place saved my, saved my life. Thanks from the bottom of my heart.